Sustainable urban mobility, to my mind, means a arrangement or a system which can keep pace with growth and demand. If you want to split it, we talk of environmental sustainability. That means the environmental impacts should be within control limits. If you talk of social equity, it should serve the needs of all sections of society. And if you talk of financial sustainability, it should be able to sustain itself, otherwise it will not grow. And I like to add a fourth dimension to sustainability, and that is safety. The system that we provide should also be safe for people. That's a very comprehensive definition of sustainability. Now, IUT, and you're the Director General of IUT, the Institute of Urban Task Force. Uh, what does it see itself? There is a whole ecosystem of sustainability. There are people making policy, there are people doing implementation, there are people on the ground, NGOs like us. But where does IUT fit in, in the ecosystem? What role does it play? IUT is a professional body. It is not any executive or official body. And a professional body's role is to promote the discipline. That means pro promote the, let's call it the science of urban transport. So our mission essentially remains that. If we are called upon to do other things, to help in other things in the, in the urban transport sector, that's additional. And as a institute, Apart from disseminating information and creating a knowledge base, providing timely information to anybody who wants, what I find this country is really sleeping. Most of the small and medium sized cities are sleeping and not doing anything in urban transport. Area. So I believe the main role of the Institute is to create the awareness that please don't wait, time is running out fast, take some action now, some preemptive actions, so that you don't run into the same problems as big cities have today. And those solutions at that time, mind you, will be extremely expensive. So in this whole process of raising awareness, ensuring that the cities are taking ownership of the sustainable mobility agenda and going forward uh, and I know these last two days have been the first effort to bring in um, engagement with civil society and NGOs uh, on this agenda of sustainable urban mobility. What value do you think this kind of engagement of people's representatives or civil society can bring on board in the planning process, in the implementation process which is always usually seen as a top-down uh, kind of process? I see the benefit in two ways. Firstly, you see, we don't have much of a base, the institute. So, the Sumnet has a wider base, much wider base. And the objectives being same, Sumnet and I, institute, i.e. to promote good urban transport, we can forge our efforts to create that awareness better. That is one. The second benefit to us is that we can understand the ground conditions because uh, your group, the Sumnet group works at the ground level in cities. You face problems, you have, you know where the things are going wrong, you find solutions, you interact with the city officials. So you have the first hand sort of knowledge of what the city needs. And that information is very useful in planning. So, thank you, Mr. Singhal, and we really look forward to collaborating uh, with you on 
taking this agenda forward for the country. Thank you very much. Thank you. I look forward to this association.